Okay, I'm, I'm out in the field now. There's, there's not a great deal of wind, but it's gone up, uh, gusting up to 12 miles per hour, and unfortunately, she's not turning. It's just that bit too tight. But I just put a couple of these camping pegs in and a uh, guys just to, just to hold it. Um, yeah, uh, just seems to need a bit more turning moment than those little blades can do. I'll wait for a few more gusts, but uh, yeah, seems to need a bigger blade diameter. And that sort of defe defeats the whole idea of portability. It's nothing happening. It's nothing happening. I have my uh, power bank there and uh, the little meter already. But uh, seems to need a little bit more to turn. Yeah. Keep trying. Don't give up. Well. That was a disappointment. Um, I uh, I used the five blade uh, one suitable for low low wind conditions rather than the three, um, but unfortunately it didn't turn it. Even though it's quite free here to turn, it looks like the initial inertia that's needed to turn it to get it turning is just too much for the small blades. I could go away and uh, make bigger diameter blades, but in a way that defeats then having to uh, that defeats the portability of it. Uh, so I think what I'll do now is I have uh, one of these uh, NEMA 17 stepper motors, so and I have uh, two uh, bridge rectifiers or capacitors here. So I think I'll try now to. Uh, install this in there and see is it any better with the smaller blades. Okay I've done a quick test here now at 400 and 1400 RPMs. I can show you do it because I have to hold uh, the stepper and the battery at the same time so I just ran it through the bridge rectifiers and I connected up to the meter both in um, series and parallel. That's just the capacitors trying to discharge slowly. Um, this is something you always have to watch for, to be a nasty little zap. So, this is what I'm after getting in parallel at 407.25 volts at 1429 volts. Now, uh, the SIG adapter I have is, is okay for 1224 volt. Uh, that should be okay because uh, a 24 battery will charge up to uh, 28, 30 volts. So if I get up to 29 volts, I should be protected. There again, being on a tripod and being low to the ground, uh, it would take a lot to get me up to 1400 RPM. I tried it in series and the voltage is uh, 415.68 and 58 volts. Again, that's too high, so therefore I'll set it up in parallel. Okay, uh, I'm uh, doing a small test here now with uh, an anchor uh, power bank and the results I got, I have two meters, I have that little white one and this black one here. So, um, with the white one I got at 400 RPM, 4.5 volts, about 100 milliamps. Uh, 205 milliamp hours I think it said. Um, at 1400 RPM 4.71 volts 830 milliamps 210 milliamp hours I'm not too sure about that. So that was that, that one. Now with the black meter at 400 4.52 about the same around 170 milliamps 0 0.76 of a watt at 1400 RPM, 4.74 volts, 890 milliamps, 4.2 watts, 4 watts plus or minus. That's disappointing. Um, what I'm using is these diodes, and yeah, I'm not too sure they're the greatest. They're called. They're rated at 1N, 4002, 2 amp, 
capacitor I'm using is 417 microfarads 63 volt uh, I should be getting anywhere up to 6 7 uh, watts uh, at uh, 1400 rpm 4.2 seems low and I would expect it to get up over the 5 volts I'm not so sure about these but I have bigger ones uh, 5 amp ones I might try that now I'm using this uh, one I got long runner NEMA 17 stepper motor um, I'm not too sure it's the best I had another project there where I used one from Amazon called Top Direct NAMA 17 and it seemed a lot better as against this long runner. We'll see. Okay, I put the bigger uh, diodes in now. It didn't do any great difference. Um, 400 RPM, 4.52 volts, 240 milliamps, a bit better. 1400 RPM, 4.72 volts, uh, 890 milliamps. I'm surprised I can't get the uh, voltage up to 5 volts. But I don't want to be ever charging a, a power bank anyway. I'd, I'd never use any of these things to charge uh, an expensive phone. The next thing will be to box it up and uh, do another field test with it. Okay, that's it boxed up now. Um, yeah, I suppose... If I was starting out using a stepper motor, I wouldn't be making a box like this, or it would certainly be a smaller diameter. Um, if it works, if it's useful, I'll have to come up with some uh, waterproofing here, uh, maybe one of those uh, phone waterproof bags or something, and just stick it onto the Velcro. Of course, putting this on a tripod, if you were smallies around, probably isn't the best thing, you know, at eye level. It's okay if you're an adult on your own or a few adults but uh, I was my first idea was to put uh, four uh, brackets sticking up top and bottom and come up to one of those uh, uh, swivel type uh, brackets that you'd see on hammocks and that run up four guys or four four bits of rope up to that and then hang it off a branch of a tree and on the other side the same arrangement and coming down to uh, tent pegs and uh, tensioning with the guys. Um, I might do that yet and that would be the two options, uh, hang it off a tree or the tripod. Now because the uh, stepper motor is, has a 5mm shaft, that's a 5mm to 5mm uh, shaft coupler, rigid. I made a mistake uh, on another job getting these flexible ones and of course the whole blade starts gyrating around the place so you need the rigids. Again, it's back to field testing.